Welcome back to Chips and Salsa, where we talk security at Intel. I'm Jerry. I'm Priya Ayer. Uh, for those who don't know, my friend and longtime co-host, Christopher Robinson, a.k.a. Crobe, left Intel to take on the role of Chief Security Architect at Open Source Security Foundation. So now I get the honor of having Priya join me uh, as one of my regular co-hosts. So Priya, I know that a lot of security researchers out there uh, know who you are, uh, but for the rest of our audience, can you tell us a little bit about your role here at Intel? Sure, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I work in the incident response team handling uh, hardware security issues. I have a team of folks uh, who uh, handles the hardware issues as well as the firmware issues. Um, and uh, we are part of the product security incident response team. Right on. With that said, hey, Jerry, do you know what time it is? I do. It's Patch Tuesday. Yes, it's Patch Tuesday. And today uh, we released 44 security advisories to mitigate issues in uh, hardware, firmware, and drivers. But the main category consisting of 32 advisories covers a wide range of software products. As always, we encourage customers to patch your systems. Patch it. <laughs> Well, that's good advice. Uh, let's walk through these categories. Priya, do you want to get us started with the hardware advisors? Sure, Jerry. All of these vulnerabilities were internally found by internal researchers. Customers running on fourth generation Intel Xeon processor will want to review all three, and those running fifth generation processors or Xeon 6 should review SA01196. However, the one is specific to virtualized environment that enable soft subpage write protect permissions. And Intel is not aware of any VMM that enable SPP. Right, okay. Moving on to the firmware advisories, the first uh, three all found internally address issues in Xeon processors. And again, customers should refer to their system manufacturer to obtain updates for affected platforms. Uh, the last one, SA01175, affects Intel server board products. Customers using server boards uh, should review the advisory as several product SKUs have been uh, previously discontinued. Um, see the recommendation section for information on that. And finally, SA01079 affects Intel software guard extensions, and this will require a TCB or uh, trusted computing base recovery which is the remote attestation process that end customers uh, use to verify that the platform they're running on uh, is trusted and uh, has the latest security updates. In the driver category, we have five advisories to affect Intel ProSet and wireless uh, and other Wi-Fi products. And the other three affect Intel graphics software. Customers should review SA01191 as calls out specific Windows drivers that are no longer supported. And we recommend that you discontinue use of these drivers as soon as possible. Yes, and then moving on to the software, uh, which is the final category. And as mentioned, we have 32 advisories addressing a wide range of products, including utilities, compilers, toolkits, SDKs, and other applications. So customers should review the list to determine if they are using any of these applications and follow the recommended actions. We definitely have a lot of software products at Intel. Very true. In closing, customers can visit the link on this page to find the list of system manufacturer support sites where they can find system specific updates. Yep, and that's it for the November 2024 Patch Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone.